Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. I'm Quinn and today we're going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. We are going to be following a hand knitting pattern on the Centro. I don't know how it's going to go. It might be a total failure, but we're experimenting here, you know? In comparison to like hand knitting or crocheting, there's just not a ton of patterns and tutorials out there for circular knitting machines. You know, there's like a lot of tutorials for hats and scarves and blankets and like those are great, you know, but sometimes you want to do a little bit more than a hat or a scarf or a blanket. So I and a lot of you have been wondering, can you follow a hand knitting pattern on a knitting machine? So that's what I'm going to try to figure out today. And I think I have found the perfect pattern to test this out with. I am going to be following this pattern from Pearl Soho for these like fingerless gloves, hand warmer type of things. I really wanted to find like a super easy hand knitting pattern because I'm a beginner hand knitter. So the project needed to be something that I understand what's going on in the hand knitting pattern so that I can translate it onto the knitting machine. There are a couple notes I guess I want to make about this pattern though. This pattern uses the garter stitch and you can do the garter stitch on the machine but it is not worth your time. So instead of doing the garter stitch I'm gonna do stockinette because that's what the machine just like automatically does and then I'm gonna just use the pearl side as my like right side. And then the other note that I wanted to make was I tried to get my gauge to match the gauge in the pattern and I just could not do it. So I'm just gonna adjust the pattern gauge to match my gauge, if that makes sense. And then if this goes well in the future, I would love to do this again and I can maybe try to keep working my way up in difficulty on these patterns. So hopefully this one goes well, cause then we can do more. Okay, so let's go over the plan. I am gonna be making two pairs of hand warmers. I'm gonna make a pair for myself and a pair for my partner. So I'm gonna be making both of the sizes that are available in this pattern. And there are three different styles of hand warmers. Basically the only difference between all three styles is like the color blocking design. I say that because I, unfortunately, I don't know, maybe unfortunately for y'all, my partner and I both liked style three the best. So I'm gonna make both of the versions style three. So I'm not gonna show like how to do the other two styles, but like it's the same. Also, I wanted to mention that this pattern is free. So y'all can like follow along in the pattern with me or you know, it's just easily accessible. I'm gonna be making my pair first because if there are any like mistakes, I would like the mistakes to be on my pair and not on the pair that I'm making for someone else. So we're gonna start with mine. I am making the adult small medium for my size. So according to the instructions of the pattern, we need to cast on 40 stitches, but I know that that is not it's gonna be too big if I cast on 40 stitches cause my I could not get my gauge to match. So I've adjusted that. So for the adult small medium, we need to cast on 28 stitches and they are using a long tail cast on. So I'm going to try that too. So we got all cast on and I gotta say, I liked that cast on method. It was very satisfying and it looks really cool on the machine. Now it says for row one, we need to slip one knit wise with yarn in back, knit to end of row. I know how to slip one knit wise with knitting needles, like hand knitting. And I think I know how to translate that onto the machine. If like, you know, you know more about hand knitting or you know how to do this on the machine and I'm doing it totally wrong, please correct me in the comments. But I think that I, I think that what I have in mind is correct. 
So what I had in mind was I'm gonna take my yarn out of the yarn intention guides and wrap it around the back side of the first needle of this row. And I'm not gonna knit the first stitch, but I'm gonna make sure that the cast on stitch that's on the first needle of the row stays under the hook of the needle so that it doesn't pop off the needle and drop. And then I'm just gonna continue knitting like normal. I think that worked. I think that's correct. But again, if you know and I'm wrong, please correct me. But that's just what I'm gonna go with because I think it worked. So now the pattern says that we just need to repeat row one until our project measures about two and a half inches long. So we need to continue doing that slip one knit wise thing. So at the beginning of this row, I'm just gonna do the exact same thing that I did at the beginning of this last row. My project should be about two and a half inches long now. It's kind of hard to measure that on the machine, but according to my gauge, 13 rows, which is what I did, is about two and a half inches. So we should be good to move on to the next part, which is just switching colors and then repeating row one for another inch. I finished knitting with my contrasting color and I needed to take a break to have some lunch. And I am just so proud of what I made that I had to share. I made olive oil braised beans and homemade French bread. And it's amazing. I am so proud. I feel like a professional chef. Um, yeah. We have our first panel basically done. I need to do a particular kind of bind off for these live stitches here, but I'm gonna wait to do that until after I make my second panel, but I wanted to show y'all the edges of this panel. So you know how we did that thing? What, what even is it called? Slip one knit wise? You know, that's that thing we were doing on the machine. Well, I wanted to show you what that kind of looks like off of the machine. Is that focusing? There, I, I think that's focused. Look at how nice and even these stitches look along here. Like not to toot my own horn or anything, but like I think that the edges of my panels tend to look pretty nice usually, but this looks even better. So if you do have problems with the edges of your panels, then I would definitely give this a try. It's not very hard. It takes like a little bit more time, but it not that much more. Okay, I'm gonna make a second one of these really quick and then we'll come back to do the bind off. I've got a couple size nine or 5.5 millimeter straight knitting needles and I'm just gonna feed the live stitches onto one of these needles and it says to bind off knit wise, which I think just means you're binding off with like the knit stitch. Also, you know, I'm doing this with knitting needles, but I don't think that you really have to. You could probably bind off with a crochet hook and it would be fine. So bind off in whatever way you want, but I'm just trying to follow this hand knitting pattern as closely as I can. So I've got all of my live stitches transferred onto my knitting needles and now I'm just gonna do a bind off. This is very good practice for me because I'm still really terrible at hand knitting. morning. Happy Halloween. I am not dressed up as anybody, but I did put on a vaguely Halloween-y outfit. You know, it's black and 
It has um, stars and moons on it. I don't know, maybe witchy vibes, possibly. So yesterday I finished both of these panels. I did the bind off and everything. So these are ready to be sewn together, but I am just feeling very impatient to get started on the fingerless gloves for my partner. So I think I'm gonna make both of those panels and then I'm gonna sew all of them together in like one go. His are gonna be the same style as mine. So they're gonna have this same, like you just have like a little contrasting stripe along here, but I'm gonna make his in like the larger size. I think it's the adult medium large. So for the adult medium large, I'm casting on 32 stitches and the pattern says to cast on 45, but since I can't get my gauge to match theirs, I have to, you know, switch it up a little bit. I have all four panels done for my two pairs of hand warmers. These are gonna be mine, and then these are for my partner. And look at this, such a good idea that he had to have them be like opposite colors. I think that's gonna be so cute. So all we need to do to sew these together is just fold each panel in half with the wrong sides together. So for me, that's the knit stitch is the wrong side and the purl stitch is the right side. So fold it in half with the knit stitches touching and then we're just gonna whip stitch part way up, leave a little hole and then whip stitch the rest of the way. These are basically done. I finished sewing them all together. I wove in a few of the ends. I still have all of these to deal with, but I also thought that I would wash and block these before I show y'all you know, what they look like in their finished state. I don't always do that for my videos, usually because you know washing and blocking them takes kind of a while and I don't always have the time for that. But since these are really small and quick, I do have the time, so I thought I might as well. So I'm gonna do all of that tonight and then we'll come back and I will show y'all the finished product. Hopefully I can also get my partner to try his on at the same time so that we can see the different sizes and how they turned out. They've been washed, they've been blocked, they've been dried, and here they are. Aren't they so cute? I think they turned out so well. And I'll make sure to include a little video of my partner wearing his as well. His also turned out amazing. I love the opposite color situation going on on his. I would definitely say that this was a total success. I would love to do this again in the future with a slightly more difficult pattern, but we can officially answer the question, can you follow hand knitting patterns on the Centro? Yes, you can. Some of them at least. So I am very interested in continuing with this, maybe making it a little series, but let me know what y'all think about that, if that would interest y'all at all. Let me know how you think my hand warmers turned out and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Centro content. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.